We're kicking off 2022 with a bit of a weird one. Here's five non-diving items I use every single day I dive, with the hopes that maybe this will make your diving life that little bit easier. Here's the 2022 intro for the first time. Hit it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. As always, so great to see your smiling faces. I hope you're all doing really, really well. And I want to wish each and every one of you a happy new year and all the best for 2022. If you're new to our channel, consider making your next dive on our subscribe button down there because we make content with one simple goal in mind, and that's to help make you a better scuba diver. Like today, where we're going to give you a mouthpiece Monday that is packed with five items that may just make your diving a little bit easier even though you won't really be taking these items into the water with you. So what did you think? The 2022 intro, I kept it clean. I kept it funky this year, short and snappy. Don't know why, just felt like it. Really, let me know your thoughts in the comments below as always. Right, let's kick off 2022 with a nice, solid Mouthpiece Monday. I'm going to give you the lowdown on five items I use every day I dive. And last year, 2021, that was 204 days out of the year. I did 412 dives last year, which is not bad considering I was off for two months with my, you know, ear problem. Anyway, the criteria for this list was I use these items on every day I dive, but they do not go in the water with me. They are not dive gear. Make sense? Kind of? Weird? Yeah, I know. Non-diving dive gear. All of these items will be linked in the description below. Those are affiliate links. Purchases made through that those links may earn me a small commission at no additional cost to you. And I thank you for supporting our content. This is also not a sponsored video by any of the products mentioned. Okay, let's dive in. Number one is the Milk Crate Dive Caddy. This is absolutely essential for me for organizing my life. It's basically a plastic milk crate uh, that you can buy on Amazon. They're not expensive. Uh, I have a quick tips video actually queued up ready to go on this channel on how to build out your very own milk crate dive caddy to optimize it for diving and it's just this kind of universal tool that's durable secure it allows you to rinse all of your little items at the same time without losing them and it gives you full access to everything in a much more organized way than a traditional dive bag if you go on a dive boat here in South Florida, you're gonna see dozens of these. Um, obviously not ideal for the traveling diver, it's more for people who dive from where they live. Um, you know, not great to pack into the luggage, obviously. But if you dive where you live, if you're lucky enough to have diving close to you, this is a great piece of kit for hauling your dive gear around. And as a bonus, they fit under the benches of most dive boats. Number two is my air gun. This is a blower fan air gun that is actually originally designed for cleaning out like the fans of computers and keyboards and electronic devices. But I use it for drying my camera housing and other electronics. It's just really good at getting water drip droplets, displacing water, out of places that it's hard to get to with a microfiber towel. Uh, I love this thing. It's rechargeable, it's powerful, it's compact. And like I said, I use it every single time I'm in the water. I always have my computer with me. I always have at least a clip-off GoPro, even if I haven't got my big camera rig. And this just makes drying it up and, and displacing the fresh water after a rinse that much easier, which means it dries faster. Number three is the shoulder saver. I have six wetsuits and one dry suit. My wife has two wetsuits. We own nine of these fancy hangers. Probably they are more money than you would ever thought you'd spend on a clothes hanger. They are a little bit ridiculous, but friends, let me tell you, worth every penny. The shoulder saver is exactly that. It's the one thing I credit with extending the life of my wetsuits. It really does stop the wear and tear of a wetsuit hanger that makes those kind of pointed notches in the shoulder of your wetsuit that then turns into a weak point, which then turns into an abrasion area. And the next thing you know, you're replacing your wetsuit. So absolutely love these hangers. Uh, it also helps dry the suit out faster by creating more space inside. So if you store your suits for a long period of time, you absolutely need to invest in these hangers uh, because they will 
keep your wetsuit in the perfect shape for your dives. Number four is Steramine. We talked a little bit about Steramine in our gear maintenance series last year, uh, but Steramine is basically a tablet, a food safe sanitizer that kills bacteria and viruses. Gee, James, what bacteria and viruses have we recently been affected by? Uh, well, you know, yes, but even before the COVID pandemic, I was using Steramine to kill the nasties in my regulators. I rent regulators out to my students. Now, if I don't sterilize them in between, you're basically just passing germs around and they're sitting in, you know, a warm or air conditioned, humid environment, room temperature environment, and all kinds of nasties can grow in there. Next time you rent a set of regulators, just unscrew the cover and have a quick peek inside the second stage. I dare you, it could be an absolute horror show. So I know this from having worked in commercial dive centers and I know that the cure is Steramine. So even before the COVID outbreak, I was using this product. It's food safe, it's the same stuff used by bars and restaurants, they go through cases of the stuff. I buy it by the case myself, just little bottles with the tablets. You dilute it according to the instructions. I think it's one tablet per gallon, something like that. And then you can just fill your rinse tank with it and kill any nasties, particularly in your mask and your regulator. But I put it inside my BCD bladders, the whole thing. So highly recommended, cheap, easy, widely available. Definitely, if you're not already using it, you should add this to your diving arsenal. Also, by the way, Steramine has no negative effect on O-rings, so it's also safe for your electronics. Not that you need to sterilize those, hopefully. My number five is my Square Grouper by Cine Bags. Expensive camera gear, rocking dive boat, disaster waiting to happen. My solution for that scenario is the Square Grouper camera bag by Cine Bags. I use this every single filming dive. Whenever I've got my camera with me, this bag goes with me. It goes on the boat because I don't want my camera gear rattling around in a communal camera bin with everyone else's camera gear and there's floaters in there and sinkers in there and someone throws their computer in from an angle. Absolutely not, no way, that is an absolute nightmare. Uh, it also doubles as a personal rinse tank, so you can fill it up with water and give your camera a nice soak on the ride back into land. Um, it has tons of pockets, space to clip off water bottles, a save dive kit, all that kind of good stuff. As you guys know, I spend a lot of money on dive gear. I'm also about protecting all of my investments. And this is one of those tools that helps me to do that. I know a lot of people with fancy cameras like to use cooler bags, you know, those kind of like padded insulated bags. They work pretty well, but for me, I'll take a bag that was purpose built and designed by people who protect camera gear for a living. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, those are my five non-diving dive gear items that I use on every single dive. I wanna say again, Happy New Year to everyone. Let me know in the comments below what I missed, what non-diving items do you uh, take with you on every dive or can you not live without? Uh, like this video if you haven't done so already, give it the old thumbs up if you learned something from it. Share it with your dive buddies and make your next dive on that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Thank you as always so much for watching. My name's James and this was your Divers Ready video for this week. Dive safe, dive often. Oh.